Gurudev, the, Purana, the Puranas talk of the gods as people with emotions and performing actions, whereas the Vedas and Upanishads speak of energies. What is the right way of looking at the Devta? Like you have classical chemistry and you have quantum physics. In quantum physics, what say everything is just wave function, all is just waves. But when it comes to classical chemistry, carbon is not diamond. Though it is diamond, it is, they are not the same. All metals are different. Though in the atomic level, they are same. But when you go into details, they are very different. So both are true. If you say, this house is all wood, yes, it is true, but the door cannot be table, table cannot be chair, and chair is not the window. It's all wood. So this is also true, that is also true. That's why you have to have this viveka. On one level, if you miss the quantum experience of seeing all oh, this is just Parabrahman, is all just a one wave function. In Kashmiri Shaivism, there is an ancient scripture called Spandakarika. You will be startled to know how this Spandakarika matches with the modern day physics. Like physicists say, everything is vibrations. In the ancient days, they said, this is all spandas, all vibrations. And they said there are two types of vibration. One is special vibration, one is ordinary vibration. What is ordinary vibration? The God is ordinary vibration. And you, you are special vibration. <laughs> Because God is everywhere. You are, uh, your body, your mind is limited. I have spoken on the Spandakarika. Sometimes you listen to it. It must be in the YouTube. Is it there in the YouTube already? On the hey. app. Huh? On the app. On the app it is there. 